Hey, I'm KIC, and this is another brick in the mall by the Quad Sphere. This is one that I got from them a long time ago, and I've been playing intermittently whenever I need, uh, well, one, whenever I, I feel the need to see what's new in the world of another brick in the mall, and also when I'm just like, you know, I want to play something that's just kind of kicked back, fun, can totally relax with it, all that sort of stuff. And that's this game right here. And you might notice that things look a little different out here, which uh, is kind of cool. I, I'm kind of liking the way that the UI has very slightly changed, but it looks really nice. There are so many things going on with this game now. I don't even know where to begin other than to say, um, I guess we need to... Where, where are my... Oh, crud. Objects, foundations. I need to go with the I-beam. We need to do an office. We need to make ourselves an office. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of extend things out a bit like this. One, two, three, four, five. That's not very big. But it'll probably be sufficient for now. So we're going to make a little office here where we're going to add some certain things that we really need. Like, oh, I don't know, bathrooms. Like this dude right here is freaking out because he's hungry and uh, needs to eat and all that jazz. I, I wish you could go to the store, but it's not actually open. In fact, why don't we go ahead and manage that store? You know, most of the time, I think when I've started this series, I've started with nothing. And this time around, I thought, you know what? We'll just start with one little store and we'll just kind of run with that and see how that goes. Ooh, Art, you are just... I like you. Here, let's hire uh, another stock clerk. And sociability, perfect. You are fast and you don't like people. That means I like you. Let's give some more hours to the store here. So, nope, sorry. I'm adjusting the wrong one. Uh, I need to go to zone, open time. Let's open it like 7 a.m. and close at 11 p.m. That'll be fine. So we need to have our staff come in. I got to remember, you got to... What's the deal here? You bring them in an hour early? Is that how that works? I think that's how that works. And then we'll have you come in like that. We're going to have Eddie start way down there. And then Art, you're going to be over here. And we're probably going to need one more cashier in the middle of the day. And I would prefer someone who's sociable and kind of fast. Uh, but I guess we don't really have many choices. So... We'll have you, George the Gardener, not the Gardener, George Gardener, kind of come in here and do the middle of the day shift. Yes. Now, you might notice we're not researching anything. That's because I'm trying to build an office. And once we have an office set up, we'll be able to research. So for the time being, let us fast forward the crap out of this. There we go. Zip, 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 zip. And now that we've gotten most of that out of the way... Let's go ahead and start throwing some stuff in here, like uh, we're going to need a staff door. So I'm going to say we can put a staff door right there, and we'll put a staff door... Well, here, let's, let's put the office stuff in first, and we'll figure out where, where all the staff stuff's going to go. Oh my gosh, there is so much additional in this game that was not here the last time I played, so apparently... I got to kind of roll through this stuff, and I, I totally missed... Where's the desk? Office desk. There we go. See, I, I just totally blew right, right by it. I was not paying very good detail. Um, Q to rotate. I, I sort of remember that. Not really. Uh, I guess we need to let that continue to build, and we'll probably do something like... Oh, you know what? Here, let's let us. Oh my goodness! So uh, where's where's my remove objects? We'll remove that. Oh, you're all done. You're all done. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you done? Are you going home? Why are you working? Where are you working? I don't understand. Where did you go? Did you go all the way out there to pee or something? Is that what that was about? I. Uh, that was that was weird, okay? I'm just going to say that was weird. You know, let's put a wall right there, and then we're going to need... I do still kind of like the idea of having a staff door 
I guess we'll just put it on the side. I, I don't know here. We'll put the staff door right there. I'd like to do some staff parking. We're going to need to have all sorts of things over here. I mean, there's just so much going on. If you have not, uh, if you have not played this game before, if you've not seen me play it, that you might not be aware of all the stuff that's going on. Oh, we're going to need all sorts of things over here. We're going to need garbage pickup. We're going to need staff parking. Let's just kind of do this. Oh, shoot. Which way do we want to go? Let's go. Let's go like this. We have, there, there's a, a little bit of an area you cannot build on at the edge of the map, but if we do some roads, 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 we can put some roads behind the building. That would be great. The way this building is set, you cannot use that space. That is a shame. That is a waste of space. I don't particularly care for that, but that is the way it is. And we'll do some more. Nope, we got to cancel that one. And then we got to go up this way and go like this. This will make a little more sense in a little while, I promise. Okay, so we were putting office stuff in. And I guess two desks right now is probably going to be sufficient, although I think I'd prefer to have maybe maybe three in there for now. Okay, so let's manage this, and we're going to... Uh, actually, let's, let's go to this first. Let's go to assign. We need to assign this as an office. So we're going to do that. You are office number three, and we can manage office number three. Set staff break policies as needed. We haven't even really talked about that, but yes, we do have all sorts of things going on here. Look at that. Security, office work, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, I want to say, Charlie, you're going to make a great office worker, and we're going to hire another office worker. Maybe Stefan or Gene. Uh, Gene, let's go with... Gene, and we'll hire a third one just because we put the desk in there. And you, man, these, these people are good security people. Speed, patience, sociability. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, Ashley, you're going to be the other office worker. Now, theoretically, we'll get all this stuff done. I don't, I don't know how to make that a priority. I don't, I don't think I can. That's kind of a shame. I would like that to be the priority because otherwise... Uh, none of this stuff is going to happen. This is where I usually, early on in the game, I go to the maintenance center and I will often just have a ton of builders early on just because it takes so long if you don't. It's kind of my feeling. So I'm going to hire one more. Oh, shoot. We got to hire a janitor. So let's hire a janitor. Who's a good janitor? Uh, I like the people who are not very social to be doing things like that. So let's have you come in at... Uh, we'll have you come in at... We're going to have you come in like late at night. So you'll be kind of doing the, the late hours. We'll do something like that. And we'll, we'll worry about a morning janitor at some point. We're going to hire another builder here. Who's a good builder? I would actually like a qualified builder. That would be great. Sammy Hampton, you're going to be our new master builder. And since it is just about 6 a.m., let's have you come in at 7. And we'll probably end up firing people along the way, but it'll be fine. There we go. Got all sorts of builders in place now. Theoretically, all this stuff's going to get done. It's going to be excellent, and we're going to make some money. This game is all about running a big mall. You don't have to run it as a mall. Obviously, we're running it a little more conservatively right now. It's just a little convenience store. In fact, let's talk about the store a little bit here. If we go to the store, I can show you the products. We're selling cookies, bottled water, diapers, pads and tampons, toilet paper, juices, snacks, soda, and candies. These are all going to be things that people want. It's your average convenience store. It's fairly small. There's technically not really any more room for another counter, but there is room for additional shelving over here. However, we're not going to worry about that. What do we have? Parking is a problem. No kidding. I know. I'm trying to work on on that, sort of. Cat, what are you doing? Watch where you're going with that. You don't mind. Oh, shoot. Where do we want to go with all this stuff? Yeah, see, I kind of want this to be done so I can add some parking back here. 
So let's add some customer parking. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you guys, if you don't mind, I'd like to add some customer parking. I, I want to make sure I save some space for some staff parking, too. Yeah, we're going to have problems for a little while. It's just the way it's going to be until they get the additional parking in place. We're going to lose money for a while. It's all good. At some point, we will be making enough that it won't matter. Chances are, it's going to take a while to get to that point. But we've been uh, generously gifted 200000 to start with. So, for the time being, I think it'll work out okay. And if not, well, we tried, right? We tried. Staff-only parking. This is going to free up a little bit of space for everyone else. And then we're going to need some garbage pickup. Let's do that right over... Right over here, like right off the road. And we're going to have multiple garbage pickups, all that sort of thing. I mean, we haven't even really started to talk about all this. If you know the game, then you know why I'm doing stuff. And if you don't, well, you don't. Garbage pickup. We have a janitor. The garbage doesn't just vanish on its own. Someone's got to do something with it. How are we doing on our research? Look at that. Research is done. I totally missed that finishing. Cold chain. We have so many research things. This is insane. Security. Oh, that's one I would like to have because we haven't even talked about shoplifting. So the cold chain is... Go oh, no. I think we, we either go straight to alcohol, night hours, or... Man, I kind of want to do... Uh, kind of want to go to like luxury or electronics or something. I've not done that straight away, and that kind of entertains me doing something like that. You know what? I've never gone straight to that. This is going to take several days to do this. That's okay. That's fine. These people are, people are all upset because they need to use the restroom, which is where we finally get into something that I kind of wanted to do over here. And I don't really have a lot of space for it, so... What I might do is something like this. Yeah, I'm going to actually turn this into a bathroom. Although I was hoping to get another desk in here. So maybe I just do like a little corner here. Because I actually would like one more desk in there. I know, it's more people, but... And, and people cost money here. Hmm, that's not going to fit if I try to put it in there. Not going to fit at all. Technically, this may have... Well, I don't know. Maybe it would fit. Eh, I think I'm just going to be... I'm just going to be stuck with this. I've, I've made my bed. I shall need to lie in it. Let's put the desk in there. And we'll do something like... Uh, <laughs> I could just put a urinal right here. Or a, a cubicle, I guess, as it's referred. Uh, I'm not going to do that in here. We'll put a trash can right there. We'll put a plant in here just to... Spruce things up. There you go. We'll do a little water dispenser. There you go. You people... You you should have some stuff here. I really do want to get this set up uh, shortly here so we can do, you know, bathrooms and stuff. I've kind of set it up so that that is a necessity. So uh, we're going to have to take care of that. What I might end up doing is just build a little, a little building like right off the side right here. And just throw either that or maybe we'll knock this wall out and add a bathroom up here. We kind of have some unused space. I do kind of like the sound of that. Here, let's let's add a foundation. What if we were to do something like this? We can't go up to there, but I think we can go right to here. And that'll get us a few extra spots that we can play with. I'm not sure about that one right there. That one might not fly. I'm trying to remember. I think you can build on this line, but you cannot build on that line. So we'll see what the builders do. Or builder, since it's really down to one person now. Yeah. Sorry about that, everyone. Janitor's just kind of hanging around. Uh, you should take care of stuff here shortly, I, I think. I don't know, are you not going to build a wall right there? You're not going to build a wall right there. Okay. Can I build a door right there then? I might have screwed this up. Which is okay. It's not a huge deal if so. Can I put... 
a staff door right there. Aha, perfect. So that's fine. So we can put a staff door right there. This is going to be so dumb. Oh my goodness. Uh, we can put a staff door right there and then we're going to build a wall. Right across there, we're going to add a regular door right there. And then we need to go down here. Actually, can I... Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Let's set this guy right there. And we're going to do toilet sink right there. There is no trash can. So we'll do a trash can right there. That looks brilliant. All right. Builder Bob over there. Whoever you are, I need you to get cracking on this. Let's assign this as a restroom. Biggest restroom in the world. Restroom number four. Yep. Requires a sink and requires a toilet cubicle. You shall be completed before you know it. Now, food is going to be a whole other problem. This guy's like, I so am hungry. I am just angry. Yep. I don't know what's going to happen when I let them go to the restroom on their own whenever they so see fit. And um, there's no one else in the store. It seems like that could get a little awkward. I guess we're going to find out pretty soon here. All right. Away you go, buddy. How did you... Oh, wow. You parked back there. Okay, good. Good. Let's check out the store. How are we doing right now? Uh, we don't really have any any information on it yet. Okay, that's fine. How are we doing on our research? 3% Three out three percent done on the research. As a matter of fact, let's go back to those... Speaking of uh, research and all that sort of fun stuff. Let's go back to our office. We're going to need to hire a new office worker. Office work, office work, office work. Uh, you are not social. We'll hire Cole as the new office worker. You're going to come to work in a few hours. That's great. Congratulations, Cole. You now have a job. I hope you uh, like your new job whenever you get around to it. At this point, there's not a whole lot of work to do, apparently. You're just kind of standing around. You're a builder just hanging around. Polly, you're a heck of a builder, I, I do say. You look like you are a pretty darn effective builder. Let's build something new in here. Since we have space for stuff, let's do some stores. Let's do a shelf in here. And we'll just go ahead and add that guy. Thank you very much. Polly, you're going to get on that. I know that. Thank you very much. Got to remember my shortcut keys. I think S is the one I want. Yes, let's clear all those. We don't need them. Thank you. S, E. E is the key I want. Let us assign products for this shelf. So we already have that stuff kind of taken care of. Let's put toys up there. Because everyone knows that you stop at your local convenience store to get toys. Along with all the other things you need. Right? Right. Getting another office worker in here should help with the research. Uh, we could, at this point, just kind of expand and go into a bigger store. I don't think I meant to do staff parking over there. That's okay. We'll end up doing another store over here and it'll work out just fine. I just... I want to spend a moment here to see... Wow, you came in angry. You came in hungry. It's not my fault you came to work hungry. That's your fault, not mine. But I was kind of curious. Can I... What, what do I need to have for them to uh, fast food dining... Okay. Fine dining. Is there anything else that I can do? Machines. Can I do a vending machine? What I'm curious of is if I put... That's what I wanted to know. Look at that. Brilliant. I wanted to know if I put a vending machine in, will my clerk go use it to satisfy his hunger cravings? Apparently, the answer is yes. So let's stop and think about this for a moment. I need to look at you. Who are you? You are in store number two. You are Eddie Parrish. Eddie Parrish, I ask you to come to work for eight hours. I pay you $13, and when you get hungry, you go to the vending machine, and you give me $13 to eat. Ha 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 ha! That is a deal, if I ever heard of one. 
Okay, so that was uh, an office worker who came in here to use the restroom. Did I see that right? Ashley Barber. Yes, you're the office worker. So look at that. We have a functional bathroom. We have a functional vending machine that, uh, so long as it eventually, you know, well, so long as it continues to make more than a dollar a day, if it can do two dollars a day, we let it run forever and ever, 2,000 days, it'll eventually work out. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to the vending machine, and you just spent a bunch of money. All these office workers are going to the vending machine. This is excellent. This is working out exactly as I hoped it would. This is great. You're not an employee. You're looking for pads and tampons. I kind of wish I had made that a regular door now that I look at it. Maybe we can still do that. I don't know. I'm fine with it being a staff door. Just, it kind of makes sense to only be a staff door right there. Not that it makes sense to even have a door right there. Don't ask questions. Just run with it. I wanted to look at the store to see how it was doing because I didn't really get a chance to pay attention to that. How are we doing on the store? I made a net profit of $69. Look at that. Profit margin of 11%. This vending machine is going to make as much money as the store at this rate. I mean, holy cow. Maybe not, but it sure looks like it's going to make good money. How are we doing on the research front? 23%. Excellent. That is not much further to go. We need to start planning here. This is the one thing I don't think, and I can't remember, and I might be wrong here. I don't believe there's a planning mode for this game, which, uh, you know, that would be excellent if so, but I don't believe there is one. It's okay, though. It's not the end of the world. We can reuse this wall. Let's see. What do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 19 of those, roughly. And we can kind of do a mirrored store like that. And I kind of have in mind, maybe I just knock that wall down. And that would, that would kind of work out okay. I don't even know if we need a store this big. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, man. Well, I mean... I don't know. I'm okay with it. Let's spend the money. It's fine. We got a crap ton of cash up front. We're going to end up unlocking bonuses as we get customers on site and all that jazz. So it's not like, it's not like we're going to run out of money anytime soon. Research sales monitoring, research marketing. Yeah, there are all sorts of things that we need to research, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and put this on to super fast forward mode because we have all sorts of projects we're trying to work on. But while we're working on that, we're also working on the next episode. So I'll catch you on that one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.